you know, this is actually something I just, something I've realized on my own. And one thing I realized was that being a senior developer, mm. right? They're all, just because you're a senior developer does not technically mean that you're a senior developer or just because you're a mid-level developer or even, right? It doesn't mean that you're not senior developer capable, right? It doesn't mean you can't be a senior developer or you're not as skilled as one. Yeah. I don't know about you, but when I was a junior developer thinking about, I don't know if I'll ever make it to becoming a senior, right? In this industry. I'm curious just from your point of view, how is that journey from junior to senior? Because I'm about to get there. I've never, right. I never cared about titles and now it's just b- being thrown at me. Yeah. What is your point of view in regards to that journey from junior to senior developer and so on? I think titles are just titles. They don't actually have a lot of value personally for me because technically at Amazon, I'm not a senior developer, but at my last company, I'm a senior developer, right? But I also make more money as a (laughs) non-senior developer at Amazon, right? So I think sometimes people have this like misconception that like, oh, if I'm a senior, I'm going to make a lot of money. And so, you know, there are people that or companies that have said that, oh, we can't pay you more, but we'll give you the title, right? Just to make Mm -hmm. them feel a little bit better. But what I really believe is that No one should gatekeep when a developer should go from junior to mid or mid to senior. Mm -hmm. And they shouldn't gatekeep them based on number of years in the industry. So what I'm I think that's Mm -hmm. super important. Is like what hap what if you're able to just kill it for the first two years and you spend all the time just learning how to code while you're working and outside of work you're getting better, you're doing Mm -hmm. open source, all of this stuff just to make yourself better as a developer and you're right. You might actually be better than people that have been in the industry for five, six years that are just like slacking or not bothering to learn new technologies. Yeah. That's super important, right? Because technology keeps it changing. What, it, what do you think? I mean, React alone changed. Mm-hmm. Just React.js alone. Yeah. What React was five years ago isn't what it is today. I mean, I actually know quite a few people who went from being a developer for two years to getting their senior position after three. And yeah. I actually thought that was kind of normal. And so for me, after hitting my five-year mark, I'm like, dang. <laughs> I haven't yeah. I haven't been I haven't received that title senior developer but it never personally phased me. When I think about that title, I don't think people understand that I mean as a junior I never thought I can do what my senior developer did. Mm. Now I can do that and more. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. And so I remember thinking I will never reach that level, maybe I'll never make it. Maybe I should just give up anyway since I'm going to be stuck as a junior my whole life. Mm. Yeah, but did you ever why like why oh, why did you think up? like that actually? Because don't you feel like mm. you're getting better and better, or is it just it I just am. felt like it I was think just this abyss? <laughs> now, I'm very thankful for all the companies I worked with. Mm-hmm. That that first company, they didn't train me in anything. Mm. It was just his work and do that, or like here's what we need to be done. You do that, and there was no one mentoring me in how to I can actually advance in my career. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, the company I work at now here at New Relic, there's people actually mentoring me. Like I wrote a technical blog and it sucked like crazy. <laughs> right. I spent 50 hours trying to write that. It was my first mm-hmm. technical blog ever. I remember writing that. And then my boss was like, you know what, Chris, let's go meet um, outside. And we're just gonna, I'm going to show you how you can better do this. And you know what? Here, the company will pay for uh, courses on how to be better at writing technical blogs. Mm-hmm. I can make videos. I can make tutorials. But blogs, writing is a whole another thing. game. It's another game. Yeah. Not just anyone can do that. And it takes a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, there was no one in my junior position or even my mid-level position. There was no one mentoring me on how I can get better as a developer. It was just, here's work, do it. And I think that's when I look back at those years, if I really did have someone solely focused on helping me elevate my skill, I'd be a much better developer today. And I'm not blaming anyone. Mm -hmm. That's on me. Yeah. But... I, 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 that's when I think about that, I think it's really important to choose the right company to work for. You have no choice in your first job, but your second job you do. Right. I think that it's a balance, right? Cause sometimes I like to talk or tell people that I work with that, Hey, you have to take ownership of your own career. No one's going to do it for you. But yeah. at the same time, if you're in a company that fosters growth and does the mentorship, does the pair programming, I think pair mm-hmm. programming is so underrated. But if you're able to just work with a senior developer pretty much like once or twice a week and you're looking at the same screen together and mm-hmm. you're trying to do it and they kind of tell you why you may not be doing it correctly and all of that, you're just kind of absorbing and stealing their knowledge, right? Yeah. So it's a fine balance and it's up to you to decide like, hey, I just spent eight hours working. Do I want to do a little bit more and mm. be, try to be better, right? And a lot of times, 
I never say you should work more hours because you love the company. You should more work more hours to get better as yourself, like as an individual, mm, right? Because that's a good point. Yeah, I, I even bring this up where it's like if you have your year end review and your boss is like, "Well, we can't give you any more money, Chris," and you're like, "Well." I know how good I am. I know I killed it this year. I know how many extra hours I put in afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it's you're going to tell yourself, okay, cool. You're not going to give me the extra $10,000 that I expected. Like, why are we $15,000 off? And yeah. if they say that they can't do it, then you go, okay, it's nothing personal, but I'm going to look for another job that's going to pay me yeah. that money. And I have the skills to prove it. Yep. So why not? Why not just... And at that point, they have nothing else they can say, right? Yeah. Because... You have the skills and you invested mm -hmm. the extra time to do it. So, no, dude, that's, that's so true. <laughs> it's so funny because when you talked about that, that's how what I experienced in my first job. Mm -hmm. I know how much effort I was putting into as a junior developer and getting better, you know, going from zero to not hero, but better. zero to one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zero, zero to better. <laughs> uh, one and a half, you know what I mean? Uh, to better. I was paid $45,000 a year. And for two years, I, all I wanted was a $5,000 raise. That extra two hundred dollars mm -hmm. a month would have helped a ton at that time living in California, but they never gave it. They thought I wasn't worth it, right? And so I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna look for a job. After um, my second year, I got that job an entrepreneur, right? And they paid me seventy k a year, which isn't that mm -hmm. much more, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it's still nice. It's, it's but in California, it's still not that much. Yeah, and, or in New York, <laughs> right? It, it's not that much in, the, in any of those cities. But yeah, I, they didn't value me, so they only wanted to give me a prom uh, not promotion, but a raise when I left. Yeah, isn't that kind of ironic and funny? It's it, it that's mm -hmm. when I truly really learned that you you have to treat your career like like a, a job basically, like a business, yeah. right? And your company is not going to willingly give you more money and yeah, it's one of those things where I mean, it's not all about money, but mm -hmm. your as long as you have the right skills, the money will come, right? That's yeah. what I truly believe and you just have to have confidence in yourself. And I think a lot of times like the line between junior to mid to senior is a mm. little bit of a, like a facade because it's just like, how confident are you <laughs> in front of yeah. other people? <laughs> no, for sure, man. Uh, I, no, I, I agree hundred percent to be honest. And, and everyone knows this, but that's how you get the biggest pay increase is when you leave a company, right? Almost every single time, unless you finally, I feel like that does tend to slow down when you hit the 200 K range. Mm -hmm. And you only start to get paid more if you go from like let's say you become a I don't know principal uh, or staff engineer or a go into the manager position. But even then, I personally feel like what you get paid as a manager isn't worth all that extra work you have to do. Or yeah. maybe you know thirty thousand dollars more. Yeah, it just doesn't feel personally worth it to me. Right. Do you think uh, the motivation to go from junior to mid or mid to senior, uh, for you at least, what percentage of it was? trying to get better and what percentage what percentage of it was wow i need to make more money because mm. this life is not ideal still i mean of course you know we start off really low but yeah you're now trying to spoil yeah <laughs> you're trying to make life-changing money right so like what was that yeah. motivation like for you now i didn't care about getting better as a developer mm -hmm. i just got better naturally just gradually working at the companies mm -hmm. i was more focused on building a business on the side because, and this is it, I know that I could make more money outside of tech than I can in tech. I, I think for me personally, I just wanted to be happier. And I knew that having the side income is more satisfying. Because now, like, think of it like this, from my point of view. My boss, I tell him, I don't care about promotion. I'm not mm -hmm. going to work for promotion. Mm -hmm. I will not make decisions at work so I can get promotion. I'm going to work the way I do because I actually want to do the work and I enjoy what I do. Right. Why? Yeah, if I, if I stay at this company, you'll give me what? What would it be? a per uh fifteen thousand dollar raise just to get mm -hmm. go from mid-level to senior position you know what i can just make one video a week and i can get that from youtube yeah, <laughs> you yeah know? exactly uh, yeah. and have less responsibilities at work and so that's the way i saw things mm -hmm. i can make more than my senior developer because i have a mid-level position salary but my pay over that but what i mean my outside my what my side hustle income i'm technically making more than a principal engineer right With, like, uh, so that's combined, why how i yeah. saw it yeah, yeah well, if it combined yeah. and not that i think i'm better than anyone i just that's just the way i think because i keep thinking yo i don't want to work just to please someone i want to work because i love what i do yeah if that makes sense yeah yeah and then it's 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 a kind of like a fine balance right because i always i kind of talked about what you have to love coding at, at one mm, in one of my older videos 
because it's something that you're going to be constantly doing for like eight hours a day. Some people are, don't uh, don't understand how much time and investment you problem have to put solving in. Yeah. eight hours Problems. a day. It's not exactly. just writing. You're not just typing a keyboard. Mm-hmm. You're, it's like imagine this. You're, you're solving math problems mm-hmm. eight hours a day. It feels just like that. 